time, best thing that you ever had. There's gonna come a time, no, don't forget it, baby. There's gonna come a time when you'll regret it. Someday, when you go along, your heart's gonna break a black night and you want me only. Hello? Hey, you can have the sack. It's the truth, fellas. It makes people go quiet and not talk to the people next to them. Hello, darling. Hey. <laughs> Emily! Which one? Which one? Oh, Emily. All of you. People have the right to housing. People have liberties. This bill is taking away people's liberties. It's taking away people's right to speak, right to live, right to even walk in the field, right to gather together more people than 20, and they can actually arrest you, take your equipment, you know. There's no provisions made in this bill for people who travel or who move around. There's, it's mad, it's craziness, and it's getting passed along and nobody's doing fuck all about it, and it's completely infuriating that this government kind of get away with this kind of shit at this stage. People should be more aware, really. The symptoms of the government's own unethical, unsustainable economy! Fight the criminal injustice bill! from them. What, what kind of justice is that? There are people walking the streets with children, have no place to go. Why can't they just squat a house? There are so many empty properties in London. There are more empty properties in London than there are people looking for homes. It's outrageous. We don't have a housing crisis in England. We have a justice crisis. Get down.
I don't think the government cares about homeless people. John Major himself said that homeless people um, inflict homelessness on themselves. The Tories have completely lost the plot. Um, they're so far removed from street level that uh, I think that's why a lot of people don't even bother to vote anymore. That's why we're getting an alternative power structure based in communities, people getting together, empowering themselves and saying we don't need politics, we can use the media, we can use protests, we can use our imagination and that's a far more effective way of getting change in the long run than trying to lobby and trying to talk to MPs. Well, in essence, what the bill will do, it says that any group of people, uh, 20 or more, gathered in the open air, in areas of restrict, with restricted rights of access, which means everywhere, because everywhere is owned by someone and therefore has a landowner, and therefore you, in essence, need permission to go there. Um, anybody who does that um, and will cause a serious um, distress to the local community, or even if the police officers believe they may cause serious distress to local community, can be arrested and face a prison sentence of up to three months. Squat our house, it's not a crime! The right to housing, yours and mine! The right to protest, it's not a crime! The right to yours and mine! What do you think is the best way for people to fight against the criminal justice court? I'd say to stand up, become strong, get together, network with people, get hold of us, get hold of Hackney Homeless, go to the festivals, talk to people, write letters, do anything that they feel they're able to do, get angry and get empowered. It has been successful um, yeah. because it's provided housing, but it's not enough. the streets every week and if they evict 60,000 more squatters and criminalize 25,000 more travelers then there's going to be more people there to join them people are being forced onto the streets in Britain because of the policy of a government that's created and generated mass homelessness in our society and that's the scandal that's what's offensive He's feeling very bad today yeah. because this kind of gathering, I'm not stepping over the marks, he's told you, his brother died in a doorway. 
and he had to identify the body. That's right, yeah. And this kind of gathering <laughs> brings back the pain that he's been through and brings back the pain of homelessness that he went through. The main reason we're here today and the main reason that this demonstration was called in the first place was to remember the hundreds of people that have died on the streets of London over the last few years. I find that I have more increasingly been called upon to conduct funerals for people that have died as a result and the consequence of homelessness. I would ask you all to stand as we remember those who have died on the streets of London. Willie Brown, Joe Pereira, Willie Wiley, Willie Boyle, Fred Bradbury, Peggy Chiswell, John Horwell, Ian Dunlop, George Brown, John Grant, James Nevin, Jimmy Allen. And I know a lot of people who are on the streets, okay, and they're good people. They are good people. And there's no way that this, this government should like treat them like shit. They do, you know what I mean? All I want is a home and a job. Do you know what I mean? I just want a home and a job. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not... I, I, respect, yeah. That's all I want. Oh.